So the Hawks coach, Lloyd Pierce, was fired on Monday, giving the hook less than halfway into a season that carried heightened expectations before being hampered by injuries. Atlanta president and GM announced the move in a short statement that he was released by the team. Assistant Nate McMillan will serve as the team's interim coach. Stephen A., I want to start with you. What is your reaction to the Lloyd Pierce firing in Atlanta? I'm suspicious and I'm alarmed. Um, I'm happy that Nate McMillan, who's been a head coach in the NBA for 16 years uh, in Seattle, Portland, Indiana. I'm happy that he's the interim coach. Personally speaking, I'd like to see him get the job permanently. If not, I'd like to see guys like Mike Woodson, who had success at the Atlanta head coach years ago, who's an assistant on the Knicks bench, be considered now. But I will say this. Lloyd Pierce, even though the record is not that impressive, 63 and 120 since being hired in, in 2018, 20 and 47 last year, to be specific. Um, after starting off the season 10 and 9, they've lost 11 of their last 15. I, I get it. Uh, but for the Atlanta Hawks to take this position now, as opposed to the end of the season, it's got my antennas up. Uh, because Lloyd Pierce has been very outspoken about a lot of things pertaining to social justice issues and things of that nature. He clearly um, um, has had the support of the organization, at least it appeared to be that way. Uh, with the Atlanta Hawks because they've been obviously on top of things that was transpiring in Atlanta and throughout our nation. Uh, but to fire him now, uh, I, I just find it a bit odd. I find it a bit suspicious, particularly considering how outspoken Coach Lloyd Pierce has been. And Max, the brother just had, just had the birth of his second child like five, six days ago. I'm kind of surprised that something like that would happen. Something... It just seems to me, and then you think about what's happening with the Atlanta Storm, the WNBA team, and, you know, he's outspoken and been very supportive of that. You know, obviously it all falls under that same umbrella. Maybe he rubbed people the wrong way. This doesn't seem to be purely just the fact that they're struggling right now. It seems to be a little bit something more that went along with this, yeah. and I'm concerned about it, that he would be fired at this particular moment in time. I don't like it. Well, uh, you know, I, I find it interesting that your antenna goes up there. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't think you're – I think it's reasonable to start asking questions. Yeah. I'll also say, though, that, that when you – like, if you look at what's going on with the Atlanta Hawks, they're trying to build around Trey Young. Mm -hmm. And the way they've done it is to spend a lot of money on good but not great veterans, like guys who are available, who they could reasonably sign – and, and put a team around him, like guys like um, Gallinari or, or Rondo or, you know, like those kind of players. And it doesn't seem to me just to be about veteran leadership around a young core or a young star in Trey Young that will mold the team eventually to be a winner. It, it seems a little bit um, mixed up, like they're trying to sort of stay competitive and win now, and, and they're doing what they can while they're developing Trey Young. But at any rate... That those decisions have backfired this year because the record is bad. And when the record is bad, the GM who puts the plan together ain't going to blame himself. Usually what happens is the coach catches it because the GM has the power to do that. You got the power to get rid of the coach and you ain't going to get rid of yourself. So Schlenk, I believe, in, in um, Travis Schlenk, and who's, who's yes. yeah, right, in, mm -hmm. in Atlanta, he ain't going to fire him. He's going to fire the coach. When, you, when you're underperforming and your plan was to put out a competitive product while you're seeing what you really have in, in Trey Young, like what he's capable of in terms of how far he can carry a team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.